everybody, how's it going? It is Margaret, welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures, and in today's video, I'm going to share some things that have been selling on eBay and Etsy, uh, probably over the last month or so. I haven't done one in a while. Things have been kind of slow, but then as I was creating this video or getting ready and pulling up on my sales, I was like, wow, I should probably should have done another, another one because we've got quite a bit to go through. Not a ton, ton, but but a goodly amount, but I thought I would add on here that I've got some big winners and some big kind of losers. I wanted to borrow, if you watch Lindy, she does uh, studs and duds, so I have some definite studs and I have some for reals duds. So I am going to share some of those things as well as talking in the chat. I do have the chat up, so I'm gonna pull it up. I shared in the groups, a few different groups that I'm in, so if you are wondering if you're watching this later and you're like, oh, I didn't get to uh, come in and watch live, um, I share I share usually in uh, on my Facebook page, Texas Gal Treasures, also in our group, International League of Thrifters. I share it on the thrifting board and the Tat Chat, which is um, Nick and Zaheer's um, group as well. So let me get the chat scoochied over. Let me see if I can fix this. Oh, we go. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, I hope everybody's sales are improving. I know there was a bit of a glitch in eBay yesterday. I was experiencing it, and I know some other people were having some issues as well. So, hopefully, that has gotten all squared away, and some of your sales have come rolling in. Oh, my gosh. I had a really good sale last night. I can't wait to share it with you. So, if you um, haven't subscribed and you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe and come along and and see all the things that I sell and talk about the stuff. Yeah, I can sell it, right? I, I'm a born saleswoman. Um, okay, so what, let me see, where am I? Before, also, before we jump into it, of course, I'm moving things around again because that's what I do. I wanted to share real quick um, the BOLO videos for ILOT. ILOT stands for International League of Thrifters. BOLO stands for Be On The Lookout For. Um, has been really, really successful. And so I wanted to share the thread. This, If you're in the group, International League of Thrifters, we're taking our BOLO, um, I can't talk, Sub submissions. That's the word I'm looking for. So I'm taking BOLO submissions for the next video. Um, this is it. It's BOLO Alert Take 4. It's got the binoculars. We've got quite a few already, um, but we're, I'm waiting on a couple more. So bring it on, it says down here. So if you're interested, it's a great way to share with the community things that you've been selling. And also, if you've got a uh, presence on social media, you know, post that right underneath there, whether you're on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, so anything that you want shared out, um, I can share that after your bolo, you don't have to share anything or uh, social media, but, oh my gosh, let's just mute that chat. <laughs> okay, so I was talking to Tom earlier. <laughs> don't message Tom. <laughs> Let me get off of this. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, let's get started with the sales. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, I'm pulling up the chat down here. So there we go. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, good. Jeff has come in the house so he can join us. Great. All right, so let's take a look at what has sold. Now, I get this question often on my eBay sales. Sometimes when you see the sale here and the number that I tell you, it's a different number. So here is a... My brain is just like in too many places. They just walked in the house. Um, hang on, let me find my thing down here. I've got too many windows open as well. Okay, so what I was saying was sometimes the number is different than the number I say because I've taken the best offer. So um, frequently that is something that that happens. Now I also felt like I shared some of these already and I think what it was was that I shared some of them when I was on Jason's show because I think he asked me for the good, the bad, and the ugly, and something that I thought was, this isn't necessarily ugly, but just kind of strange and unusual that it's had sold. So if some of these look familiar, I think that's what happened. Okay, so, all right, this sold, this was a vintage shell and coral bead um, brooch that sold for $58.40, so it did sell for that price. I picked it up, I think it may have been in a lot. Normally, well, lately what I've been doing is adding down here the... Um, inventory note saying what I paid for it, but I probably paid a buck or less for it. So there's that that sold. 
Okay. <laughs> Hang on, let's see. My chat's scooched down. All right, that, it's, I'm not entertaining anybody, Jeff. <laughs> you take it or you leave it. Okay. All right. So next up um, is this stitch one, the stitch doll that sold plush. I don't really pick up plush too too much anymore. If it's vintage and cool, that kind of stuff, I'll pick it up. Um, but unless it's something I really think is going to do well, I haven't been picking up a whole lot of plush. So I picked him up a while back, probably for a buck or two, um, and he ended up selling for seventeen dollars and eighty one cents. All right, next up is this love potion mug. Again, this is one that was I've had forever. It was kind of a, a dud. Um, let's see, in the chat, Asian new is asking, do I sell clothing? Not a whole lot. Sometimes I'll sell vintage clothes, so but not, not a whole lot. I do a lot more smalls and jewelry and things like that. So that's what I sell usually. So this mug, I ended up uh, selling for $8.49, and it finally sold, but I was so glad to see it go. So there's that. Did not make very much of a profit on it, unfortunately. The next one, I really feel like I shared some of these already, but maybe it was, maybe it was just on Jason's show that I did. Okay, let's see. Hey, 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 everybody. Okay, next up is this endangered species tie, another one that I was just, Glad to see it go. I've had it forever. It ended up selling for $7.50. So major dud there. I really thought it would have sold for more, but it was one of those that I had listed high and low, slowly like dropped the price, dropped the price, dropped the price. Hey, hey, oh no, I'm so sorry to see you're with the flu. Um, and so finally just, it's gone. I wonder if I should start putting the date on things. This is another thing that I picked up. Some vintage glasses and things sell really well. But these were children's size, and they they sat again for a really long time. These also sold these sold for eight dollars and forty nine cents. So you know what? A sale is a sale. You win some, you lose some, and I'm just glad they finally sold. It's one of those things. But I have some sales that have definitely made up for it. All right. So next up is this vintage wrapping paper that sold. Um, the pictures are not amazing. I probably could have done better. So, eh, I guess they're okay, but it's kind of hard sometimes with the with the, the plastic wrap to get a good picture. You'll see on some of my other ones in a little bit. Um, was the ties on eBay? Yeah, the ties were on eBay. I cross-posted if, if it was vintage, so it was on both, on Etsy and on eBay. Uh, let's see, in the chat. Do you ship only within the U.S.? If not, where? I ship everywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, I ship everywhere, <laughs> so... Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so this uh, vintage wrapping paper, I took a best offer of 10 bucks. Again, I've had it for a long time. I probably spent 50, no, less than 50 cents, a quarter maybe. I, I'd gotten a whole bunch for really cheap, but I don't usually spend more than, rarely will I spend 50 cents unless it's amazing gift wrap. So maybe a quarter, but it, it didn't end up selling for $10. So that was good. <laughs> and then, oh, I lost my things. Here we go. There we go. Um, these sold yesterday. I need to ship them out, actually. Now, these ones were ones, I'm a big proponent of, of starting high and working things down. And I had these up for really high. Went back and forth with the buyer, and they ended up selling for, oh gosh, I don't have that up. I think it was $35. Hang on. Let me go back over here because it's awaiting shipment. I need to ship those out in just a minute. So I ended up working out an offer with them for 35 bucks. So these sold for $35. Um, these ones I got at a garage sale with a whole bunch of other Southwest style jewelry. So it was not very expensive on my part. Um, oh yes, thank you, hit the like button people. Okay, so next, this was another thing that sold recently. Hang on, let me get my back over here awaiting no nope. paid and ship that's where we are here we go okay so this kit recently sold and I took a best offer again on this one of $15 it wasn't too much off of the original price so I didn't have a problem with that a lot of times the Christmas ones sell pretty well but this is one of those that's like got that puffy look to it so I, I'm finding that these ones that are I don't know more I don't, I don't know how to describe it like it's 
it's not as fine embroidery type like cross stitch and needlepoint type things. This one's more of a three dimensional puffy. I don't know look to it. So it sold for fifteen dollars. But but let's see if I have the inventory. No, no, not on this one. I um, probably picked it up for a buck or two because that's generally what I spend. I think I, I got some recently at Goodwill where I spent a little bit more. But I think I put the the inventory note on those. My brain is in, going in a couple different directions, unfortunately. Okay, next. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, this was really cool, and I went back and forth about selling it. Um, it's a cast iron black rabbit, and it looked like he was missing something, like he should have been holding on to a basket or a card or something like that. Um, but he sold, he was pretty heavy, uh, took a best offer of $45 on him. And I have had him for a little while, so I got him at a garage sale. Okay, here we go. I got him for a dollar at a garage sale. Yay, inventory notes. So still a really good profit for picking up for a dollar and selling for $45. Again, took a best offer. What do I mean by inventory note? Well, I started, I used to keep spreadsheets of, you know, it was so time consuming. I used to keep a spreadsheet of everything that I bought and then whenever it sold I would have to go search through the spreadsheet or do you know like go through each spreadsheet and try to find the item uh, to find out what I paid for it. Well what I started doing is in my listings writing an inventory note and so it's something that if you don't know what it is it just looks like maybe who knows what right. So it, for me my inventory note is the date when I listed it. So 0321, that's when I listed it, March 21st. Is that right? That must have been last year. Have I been doing it that long? Okay. Um, and I paid $1, so one D is $1. So there's that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's what the inventory note says, unless I wrote it wrong. But I guess it's been there, there that long. I don't think so, though. That's weird. Whatever. All right. <laughs> I paid a dollar for it, though. All right. Who knows? I should know. It's not bad. All right, so next up is this cross-stitch kit for baseball that sold. Um, yeah, bin le a bin letter. Yeah, some some I know some people do that, put like where it is in their inventory so they can go find it, which is really smart. I just have a shelf. So, all right, so this um, Nostalgia Baseball Needlepoint sold. I took a best offer of fifteen dollars on it, and now it's I don't have the inventory note, but again, probably paid a buck or two for this. So some of them are just good, like steady sale. Some of them are really low, and then I've got a few that are that are that were pretty high. The rabbit was pretty good. Rabbit was pretty high. Okay, so next up was this, and I just listed this. So I'd had a whole bunch of pictures that I had taken that I was slowly working through. A lot of men's accessories, tie tacks, cufflinks. Pardon me, I'm going to eat this. Um, tie tacks, cufflinks, and you know, like mint jewelry boxes and things like that. So, finally getting these pictures up. And this, I took a best offer of $12 on it. It, it was, you know, not in stellar shape. It's got this like plaque on the top that has an L and it was really kind of scratched up. So, I was pretty happy to take 12 bucks for it. I think it was thrown in with the men's accessories that I got so it was you know I didn't spend really anything on it and I had another one that I got an offer on yesterday but or the day before anyway they, it, they wanted too low like seven dollars or something like that it wasn't was not what I wasn't cool oh dear Jim <laughs> okay so there's that okay the next thing this is a Southwest style silver blackstone ring um, that sold for $27.50. Um, it was an interesting, I don't know, we'll see how this one goes. You know when you get that feeling like it's going to come back? You know, because you've got like um, conversations with the buyer. So the person, you know, sent me an offer, I accepted it, then they didn't pay, then they didn't pay, then they didn't pay. Um, and then they sent me a message and was like, ah, I can't get it to, I can't get the payment to go through or something. They're like, I really want it, can't get the payment to go through. And I was just like, it's cool, I, you know, I, it'll, it'll work itself out, I'll wait, <laughs> you know. And then, because they never said they wanted to, like, cancel the sale. 
So I was like, it's cool, you know, just figure it out. You know, I can wait. And then I finally opened up an unpaid item case, and then they paid a couple days later. So it's just one of those, like, were they trying to hint at that? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> it's sold. So there. So it's <laughs> it sold for $27.50. Yeah. Okay, next up is, where'd it go? This, and this sold within 45 minutes, which told me I did not list it high enough. This tie bar, which it's in a, it's in rough shape, as you can see. There's, you know, lots of nicks and scratches to it. Um, but what it is is from Apollo 15 Lunar Surface. It's a miniature, like miniature license plate from like the Lunar Rover type thing. So there is huge collectors for this stuff, which I'm still really happy. I ended up get, taking an offer. The guy sent me a note. Um, oh, God. Patricia says, I'm going through that with a ring as well. Oh, dear. Um, so I got this offer for $74.50 within like 45 minutes of me listing it. And I took it. And the guy, the guy's um, username, you know, or eBay name was like, moon lever or something like that where it was like he apparently collects or apollo moon apollo i don't know. anyway he was um apparently a big collector of apollo stuff so i was pretty happy with it and then he sent a message saying you know thank you so much it's so damn cool um so he was pretty happy even though it was in kind of rough shape so it does yeah it did it did me it took me a while to figure out what it was and what it went to but it made it totally worth it to do the research to find out what it was. Yeah. So if you're happy with the price, just be happy at so fast. Exactly, right? I mean I'm I don't want to find out later that it's like, oh it was worth two thousand dollars or something like but I know that I got a good profit on it and somebody else is, is very happy. So that's what's important, right? Um oh good good. <laughs> Drifting Lister Mister just finished the last jewelry jar video. Hi, hi everybody Okay, so as you can see, and as I can see, um, as I've been listing, more things have been selling, and a lot of things that I've been listing have been selling, so I just like need to get listing, right? Um, so I've had more men's accessories. I thought this is not a men's accessory, per se, but I feel like I shared this already, but maybe not. So this Playboy magazine sold... Where did you go? Oh, this is on Etsy. That's why I'm on the wrong thing. So she sold... Where did she go to? She went somewhere. Oh, I did. I shared this on Jason's thing. That's why, because it went to St. Petersburg. So this um, Playboy magazine went to St. Petersburg. And this I got from a friend who was her dad's neighbor had passed away. And so she was able to go in and get some stuff. And it smelled so, like, musty and stuff. But I put that in there. Um, but it sold for $14.99. And it did go to Russia. So, yeah. You would have kept it, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. It smells funny. Um, then, next up, hang on. I feel like I'm just out of order with my listing stuff. Okay, there. Okay, so I sell mystery boxes on Etsy of jewelry. So it's like a 6x4x4 a six by four by four box, and you get between 20 and 30 pieces, 20, you know, just depending... I'll look at it and eyeball it and say, like, 20 doesn't look like enough. Let me throw something else in there. So um, I've had a couple of these sell. I sell them for $19.99, and that is that. So I sold this. I've had a few repeat buyers, so that's good. <laughs> that tells me that they, they don't totally stink. Um, so there's another one. So another one sold for $19.99. And then... This tie sold. I don't really pick up ties anymore. I'm just so glad that they're going away. I know some people do really well with ties. And this one actually didn't sell for that bad. This is a, a vintage Gap tie. And it sold for $19.99. So it's still a good price, but I've had it forever and ever, it feels like. So, because I don't pick them up. Did I ever list my Star Wars G.I. Joe haul? No, I have not. Um, it still is in there needing to be cleaned up. It's just time, right? Um, but I did have somebody message me and ask if I was interested in selling any of the G.I. Joe stuff. And I said, I'm interested in selling all of the G.I. Joe stuff. So I'm waiting to hear back, you know, about the, because I'll just sell a lot of that stuff. 
for, we'll find out. He kind of was like, well, give me an itemized list of what you got and how much you want for each piece. I'm like, uh-uh. If I'm going to all that trouble, um, <laughs> I'm going to, I don't know, list it and get a higher price. I'll give you a bulk price. I'll give you a ballpark figure of what I got and what you want to spend. Anyway, <laughs> maybe that's just me being lazy, but probably. Um, personality. To, oh, okay, okay, yeah. And, you know, that's the cool thing about reselling is that there's something out there for everybody. So, yeah, it, you can love them or ha hate them. Or, yeah. Did you figure out the value of it all yet? I mean, we kind of figured that it would be, like, total once we sold everything, if we got what we thought we would, you know, probably between, I want to say 700, between 500, 700, 800, somewhere in that ballpark range once it all finally sells. So... That's exciting, because some of the bigger pieces are worth quite a bit of money, so we'll just see. We have to figure out how we want to go about selling it. I've got to clean some of it up, and Chris, um, Thrift Shop Hustler, was helping me, talking to me about how to clean it, and there were a few people that shared different sites to help me figure out, because all the little guns and pieces are there. If you don't know what we're talking about, I'll link the video later, but I had a huge haul that was all like G.I. Joe and Star Wars stuff. And I've had so many comments on the video, too, like, you are a liar, you didn't really get it for $12, and I'm just like, I can't help it, it's, it's the truth. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's true. Watch the ride-along, you can hear me talking to the people. Whatever. Okay, so, <laughs> next up. <laughs> who, who cares, right? Oh, I feel like I really have talked about this. Not bad, what was it? It was 12 bucks for all of it, yeah. Okay, so... I sold these um, shirt studs, and generally, this was just like a lot, because normally you'll have three or four of the same, you know, um, button studs, and then you'll have the cufflinks, and it goes to a tuxedo set. Well, these ones were all different, and I was like, you know what, let me just try lotting them up, putting them all up there, and seeing, like, if somebody wants these random tuxedo buttons, you know, and uh, shirt studs. So yeah, I put them up there, and they sold for $69.99, so save those <laughs> tuxedo studs that are just random that aren't with the set because they can sell. So there's that. So that was a really good sale because they really were just odds and ends that didn't have a mates and all of that stuff. Okay, so then we have got these Lucite flowers, and they were on really long metal rods that were bendy, you know, so you could use them for crafts or whatever. So these ones, where did I get these? I think the, I, I'm trying to remember if Rose sent them or if they came in a lot of something else. I can't remember, and I did not mark it on there either. This is why I've got to start marking things. Okay, so these two sold for $14.99. I got them, I know they were in a lot. I do remember that, so I know they were in a lot. Okay, next, another mystery box sold. What's up? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was thought you were pointing at something. Um, another mystery box of jewelry sold. There's that. That was $19.99. And, oh my gosh, okay, so this is the one that sold last night. <sighs> so happy about this sale. Hang on, let me find it again so I can tell you the right price. So this one sold. Again, I need to ship this out today. Where did they go? Oh, because it's on the other page. Duh. Okay. So this is a 14 karat gold crown um, tie pin, and it's got these semi-precious stones in there. And precious stones? Semi-precious stones? Anyway, um, this is what I say I really love selling men's accessories because a lot of times they're overlooked um, in the thrift stores, garage sales, and things. Um, this was 14 karat gold with the stones in it, and it sold for $164.99. And I got it for a dollar or less. I didn't put that on here, did I? Nope, I didn't. But it was in a lot of other men's accessories that I got. So, yeah, 100, where did it go? Ah, $164.99. And I listed it maybe last week, so really good sale. Look at men's accessories. The end. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that has to go out today. 
Now this will be one, I get a lot of questions about do I sell, when I sell the, these, how do I ship them? I won't put this in a little padded mailer like I do some of the other jewelry. One, it's got stones that could break off, and two, it's a really expensive piece. So I'm going to make sure that the packaging looks kind of nice. It'll go like in a 6 by 4 by 4 box and I'll, yeah, super happy about that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, you must have had your leprechaun on my shoulder. I know. I was, yeah, just as I'm grabbing jars. I'm telling you, look at men's accessories. It's really, it's, it was my gateway into really jumping into jewelry. So, yeah, that was a good one. Okay, so this one also sold. And I remember I asked in the groups, you know, like, what is this symbol? This is another time when it really made the piece, it made it worthwhile to take the time to research and try to find out what the logo was. So I did my Google reverse image search and I was trying to describe it and um, finally shared it in the International League of Thrifters and I shared it in Thrifting Board and, you know, finally, and somebody found what it was and it was this I E E E E. Um, but it's this, oh, where is it? What does it stand for? Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering's TITAC. Um, and it is also 14 karat gold. But knowing that, I think, helped it sell. So it sold just a couple days ago. I think it shipped out yesterday. It sold for $57.99. So I need to get the rest of my men's stuff listed. <laughs> so there's that. Um, priority small box. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely going to go in short. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this definitely um, was worth the time to figure out what it was. Hey, Craig Dawson, how are you? Um, okay, then also, next up was this. Uh oh, I skipped it. Did I close that out? Hang on. Let me open it back up because I wanted to talk about it. So, this sheet sold. And y'all, this was in my pile to, I, I've had this in my pile to donate. And then I'm like, no, no, no. And I took it out. I had the pictures taken. I had the measurements. But then whenever I would go to look for, you know, is it a full size? Is it a double? Like, is it a queen? Like, what, what size sheet is this? Because I would look at the measurements and I would go to standard measurements and try to figure it out so I could put it in the listing. And I was getting so frustrated because I was like, do I need to pull that thing out and measure it again? Did I measure wrong? Anyway, I thought, I thought I was like, I'm listing it. I'm just going to put the measurements that are there and go with it, right? Um, and it sold so fast as soon as I got it listed. It was just a flat sheet, like a strawberry shortcake vintage flat sheet, and it sold so quickly. So sometimes holding back, just don't second guess yourself. Just get it listed already, you know? And then look. Here's how I finally, I was looking through my pictures, and I can barely see in the picture that it says double right there. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. it took so long for me to list this. And I was, oh, I can't tell you how many times I searched. And I was like, getting rid of it, not getting rid of it. Whatever. Okay, Margaret, whatever. What did it sell for? That's what we really want to know. Uh, it sold for $14.99. So pick up if you see them in expensive sheets and things like that. All right, so next up, another tie tack that sold just recently, just listed this. And this was a this was a toughie to pick, take pictures of because when they're that shiny, reflective, you know, it might have done better on a dark surface like in black. Um, but I did take a picture of it on a tie. So there's that. And it sold, where'd you go, where'd you go? It sold for $9.99. So just a good bread and butter, $10 sale. Um, probably, again, probably was less than a dollar, 50 cents or something. And then we have, I don't pick up a whole lot of patterns anymore. This was one I had, good golly, where'd you go? <laughs> I lost her, where is she, there she is. Um, I've had it up for a long time. I don't really do a whole lot of patterns like this anymore, but just since I had it up, I just she's just staying up. So it sold for $14.99, so there's that, cool deal. So, <laughs> Those were my sales for the last number of weeks. Um, again, I probably should have done one sooner just to condense it a little bit better, but hopefully your sales are picking up. Mine have been, and I've noticed that they're slowly coming in now that I'm listing more. So, yeah. Um, and if you are interested, go over to International League of Thrifters and join the iLot Bolo video, um, and we'll share some of the things that you've been selling as well, some of your nice sales. 
and things you think people should be on the lookout for. Now, whether we'll find it or not, that's, <laughs> who knows? But it just, you know, having extra information in the back of your head is really good. So thank you guys for coming to hang out. And if you aren't subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Love to have you. And go over there and hit the thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.